Hi, I'm Paris, and here's a product I've put off reviewing. Found this in the indigestion aisle over at our local supermarket, and it's called Poo-Pourri. Put a squirt of this into the toilet before anything else goes in, and you come away smelling like roses. Epic review guys. Or at least smelling like original citrus. And Poo-Pourri does come in different scents to match your mood, perhaps. About $8 for this two ounce bottle, and I'll link to it down below this video if you'd like to find out more. Just squirt some of this into the toilet bowl and it will form a film on top of the water. From reading about it, it seems to be mostly essential oils, which holds in that which you'd rather not get out. So how to review poo-pourri with some small, at least, amount of decorum? Well, I've decided to use a clear bowl of water here, and I picked up a couple notably odorous foods. I have sardines, and I have a white onion that I'll chop out in the kitchen, and then bring it in, and we'll have a go at the bowl after applying the poo-pourri. The original citrus version of this has lemon, bourgeonot, and lemongrass scents to help cover up whatever smells do escape from that film that it creates over the surface of the toilet bowl water. Now you can, this is a two ounce bottle, now they make a smaller version and they make a bigger industrial size version, I guess. You can take this with you to use as needed, or you can be kind to your guests and leave this in clear view in the bathroom, or if you want to be a little more pushy, put a sign with a big arrow pointing at it. I've been trying out different aromatherapy products recently, so I guess this sort of qualifies because it seems to be essential oils. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I'm wondering what the swab is for exactly where I was supposed to apply it. Because I understood I was just going to spray it in the bowl. Okay, um, it looks like a, a little squirter. Ah, it smells like a lemon candy. I'm kind of surprised from an essential oil I thought it would be a more natural smell, but I'm guessing they added something a little extra to it. The instructions say to shake well, and then three to five sprays is about the right amount, and you'll get a hundred uses out of it at that rate. Let's see if it's colored or clear and how this works. So, nothing happening yet. One, two, whoa, three, four, five. Okay, I think we're saturated there. Now, how long does this remain effective? I'm not sure, but let's get something smelly to drop in there. I'm just a little curious. Ah, oh, it kind of closes back up after you. All right. It's very nice smelling in the room right now, by the way. I know that sardines have the reputation for being smelly. I didn't know whether in water or oil, wild caught or farmed, which are the smelliest, but we're going with King Oscar. Ah, oh, there's no metal key. I seem to remember in the long ago days, there was a metal key that you would put under a metal strip and twist it until it peeled off the top of the sardine can. So much for the nice smell. The smell of this is overwhelming the uh, lemony smell from the poopery. I'm gonna drop a few of these fish into the bowl, take the rest of the can out of the room, and then see whether the smell still, still seems to come through. Okay, in olive oil, no less. It's a sinker. Oh, we're getting the aroma all around here now. This is the last one I'll put in. Okay, time to take the can out of here and wash my hands. I have taken the rest of the sardines away. These guys are just lying quietly there on the bottom, but some of the oil that they were packed in has floated to the top. I think that the oil from the fish, the olive oil, is trapped underneath the layers of the essential oil that, that's been created on the surface of the water. The room is really thick with the odor of the essential oils, so that smell is really permeating everything. There was the sardine smell before, but 
I can't notice it now. I'm going to go in though and see what I can smell right above the bowl. I just smell an even stronger scent of the essential oils. I dump the water out and the, the poopery. I just have the three sardines in here and they have plenty of sardine smell. So it wasn't coming through, but was it not coming through because of the poopery or simply because they were floating on the bottom of a bowl of water? I've tried to air the room out a little, but it's still a pretty strong scent from the essential oils. I washed the bowl with soap and water to get rid of all oils. This is just plain tap water. I'm going to try again, dropping a few sardines in it. See what happens with the smell. Keeping them in the baggie to keep the smell in there. As much as possible. I can see the oil coming off of the sardine and floating up to the top. That kind of is a whole fish. Ugh. Coming apart in my hands here. Okay. All right, let me seal this back up and I gotta wash my hands, get the smell away from here, and let's see what we see. Been gone to the kitchen for about a minute, washed my hands. The room still smells like these essential oils. How about the bowl? <clears throat> Oh, fish, mmm. Now the fish are not floating, but oils and some scales and stuff, I guess, have come off and floated to the top. You can decide for yourself whether that's a representative situation of what happens in the bathroom. So it actually does appear that this will seal in smells associated with, even if things have sunk to the bottom, there's still some stuff that comes to the top and it will hold the smell in from that. I wonder if it's too late to use it <laughs> after the fact. Because I could just imagine somebody who's not familiar with it and after they've used it and realized they've created some smell, they see the thing and, oh my gosh, is it too late now? And they're frantically spraying half the container <laughs> into the toilet bowl. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, thick coating now. I've given it a minute to settle and there's a whole new wave of that lemony essential oil smell now everywhere here. Looking at the uh, oil and a couple of little fish particles, everything seems to be now underneath that coating that's created by this spray. How about the smell? <coughs> oh, it's strong lemony smell. Yeah, I, well. It smells almost like it's a mixture of the lemony smell and the fish. So it may help if it's used after the fact, but it obviously does a much better job if it's already there to seal up behind the things that fall in. Now I've washed the bowl again with soap and water. I have cut up my white onion. I have some very smelly onion chunks in here. Let's see what happens. Tried to air the room out a little, but this smell really clings to the room. So it's not like you're going to um, leave the room without the next person knowing something happened in the bathroom. But maybe they'll appreciate the fact that they can't tell exactly what. Three to five sprays. And ready, set, go. Oh, the smells. Oh, I've got onion smell coming at me. There we go, that's a challenging bunch of material. And some's floating. Let's see. Here's a situation with the onions. Some, most of them sank and some floated. So maybe that's a good representation of what goes on right there. The question is, are those chunks that are floating sealed in and will they smell like onion? General smell in the area is fine and lemony. I smell no onion at all, just the lemony scent. So the poopery has two mechanisms that do the job. One is this film that gets created over the surface of the water that holds in smells and whatever else underneath. It seems to be a pretty good film because even the pieces of onion floating aren't giving off much of an onion smell. And the other one, which I thought originally was maybe the only thing that was happening here, is the very strong scent of the essential oils 
masks whatever other smells there may be. So I was thinking this might just be another kind of spray you use in the bathroom to cover up the smells, but it actually seems to do what it says. It holds the smell in so you can flush it away. I foresee a future where <laughs> there will be toilets that will have a little tank that you fill with this sort of liquid and it comes down to a little spray mechanism on the seat. And as soon as there's pressure on the seat, it sprays it in the bowl for you. Until then, it's BYO poopery. Or just don't worry about it. Or blame it on the guy who was in there before you. I'll be back soon with more reviews. You can keep checking back for those, or you can click that subscribe button and the bell next to it down below. You'll get notified when my videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, we give stuff a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.